Okay, ladies and gentlemen. But we're running this live, and I'm not wearing a shirt, so you're just going to see a still image of my face and glossies. So what we have here, I'm going to run a virtual machine. I'm going to test a PXE server. The first one is called ERPXE, which was... Uh, which has been talked about many times by UXW Bill. Right here. UXW Bill. Let's see if that goes to the right place. Nope. I misspelled it. Try it again. That's who I'm talking about. He has a... He has videos in here that uses the ERPXE, and he said he was going to do a video on it, but I'm going to beat him to it slightly. Let me start up the. I don't have, I only have the basics of ERPXE here. I don't have any of the plugins downloaded yet. And if you hear a saw in the background, I can't help you because I can't stop them from doing it. There it is. It is, it is booted up. ERPXE, whatever that is. And this can do various things. Hardware detection tool. There's what's being detected. Let me test. There you go. You can just send this directly to your uh, to the client, and it will execute whatever it is once once the once the network is, is established. machine. This is how you have to set it up. System and the boot order. I have network placed in the third order. And the network has to be bridged adapter, attached to bridge adapter in order for this to work. Okay? Let's see what else we got here. Uh, I forgot the name of the other one. Stand by. I 
I own my PXE boot free. That's what that looks like. Let me assign a ISO to it and see if I can get it to work. Try Linux Mint. So the service. And it's waiting for waiting for a connect. So we'll go over here and start our machine. Loading the ISO file. It's not tiny. It's almost eight. It's almost seven hundred megabytes. I, or it might even be bigger than that. I don't know if you need a DVD for it or not. Let's see. Linux Mate. Uh, it's actually 1.74 gigabytes. So you would need a DVD ordinarily or a flash drive. Or if there's sufficient memory, like I'm hoping, this should be sufficient. You're not, you're not looking at my beautiful face today because, like I said, it's pretty warm here, even though it's cooler than it has been. But I'm not wearing a shirt, as usual, so. That's my quality. I'm in the green. I'm in 1080p and everything. I think in 1080p. Settings. Video. Yeah, I'm 1080p. Okay, the file got over there, but now I have a now I have a problem. Unable to move. Mount root fs on an unknown block, so obviously something went wrong. Or I'm messing around. Let's see what this does. What is 98? That Linux thing didn't work. Let's see if one is 98 will work. One extreme to the other. And this is a lot smaller.
That's not going to work. Vice driver was not found. I do it another way. It's kind of easy to demonstrate this. Don't worry, I legally own Microsoft Money in 2007. There's many I sold for it, so I don't have to have optical drives everywhere. Let me load that. for me again. I don't know if something's on here or not, so I'm going to take a look. Okay, so far so good with this. Okay. What well, I was looking for is not here. So I'd have to set it up. Okay. There's something that will, that should work because of the Win PE image in the first place.
This works fine, or should. So, not much else to show you. I'd have to prepare a better, uh, prepare for a better video. So we'll see. We'll catch you guys later. Oh, Mr. Smash! But I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a hike for now. And uh, as soon as I'm as soon as I'm able, I will be back. EDT out.